With our um, research, we answer the question whether the normal and intended use of plastic food contact articles leads to the migration of micro nanoplastics into foodstuffs. And what we found out is that plastic food contact articles are a source of micro nanoplastics into foodstuffs, which seems to be a very relevant a source, but currently it seems to be underestimated. It hasn't received a lot of attention. So what we've done is we, we went through the studies which have been published until the end of 2022 and which have analyzed micro nanoplastics in all types of foodstuff or food simulant in contact with the plastic food packaging and we have extracted data on what type of food contact articles have they studied? Did they detect the micro nanoplastics? What was the size of these particles? Did they indicate the shape, the quantity? And all these data we combined in a database. We have also created a dashboard which is publicly available and you can search a dashboard, you can filter it. Concerns of the human health impacts of micro nanoplastics are increasing. In order to better protect human health and reduce exposure, all sources of exposure need to be known. Particles are released when you open a bottle, which is made of plastic with a plastic cap. If you have a plastic tea bag, so often they even look like paper, or they, mostly they are made of nylon, then for example, which is also a type of plastic, and you brew your tea, you put it in, in, into hot water, not only the flavor of the, of the tea and it's released, but also the, the, the plastic particles may be released from this tea bag into the tea. The warmer something is, the faster this release goes. And another example would be if you use a, a plastic cutting board, and there might be, it's, it's especially obvious that you, you cut and you might sometimes you even see the cuts in the board. There are some studies showing that this also releases micro nanoplastics.